right, Shalom. The brother Kaya from the gym, that's Louisiana Saints, coming back at you with another quick ride to toe. Prior to getting started, as I always do, like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kabadash. I'm honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Agnes that's pushing the truth and sincerity. And Lord willing, this video will be able to find first and foremost to those who elect, then to those that cleave to the body. And there's a great outcry for the dirt that's in the earth, man. All right? The famine, the food shortages, all right? Ultimately, okay, the Lord is caving in the walls of America. Not just America, the world, man. All right? A lot of people have been, uh, a lot of other different nations has been uh, skirmished by war, all right? Pestilence, okay? All these things are happening at once in the earth, man. All right, and it's causing a, uh, it's causing a, a, a world, a, you know, a worldly agony, man, for the people. All right, as you can see here, it says, uh, gotta gotta eat a mic real quick. Let's go back. Let's see, let me see. Let's get it. Yeah, it says I can't survive on $260 a week. U.S. retail and fast food worker strike. All right, so it says now. Even at these fast food strikes, uh, as me and my um, my young lad, I right, was going up to um, we, we was going to get something to eat, and it's even a food shortage. I mean, it's even there's like they can't even give out extra condiments from ketchup to yeah. I mean, you know they have you know lettuce and tomatoes. You know, you get a salad, you get a little plate or whatever. They like you know they like hey you know they don't really want to give you lettuce, you know. Or not tomatoes, okay, or whatever, or not. Yeah, you, you know, this just happened. It was Sunday, I right? which was yesterday, but it's just the principal matter, man. Food is scarce, all right. And the law speak about the scarcity, all right, that the latter end or the latter day shall hold. One for four, call like me, like y'all, all right. It was, it was in his order, but it says workers in America and. You know, when you're looking through these, uh, uh, you know, these news articles and getting, you know, up to speed and up to date on what's currently happening in the world, man, these things shouldn't surprise you because, you know, according to the scriptures, they say that it would be so, you know, so I'm going to get into these articles and I'll be right desire be edifying. I'm going to hit the points and, you know, Lord willing it be for, you know, edifying to the whole thing like, man, because this food shortage is it's real, man, you know, it's surreal, you know, and it's going to affect the whole entire world, man. And remember that the men of the Lord is in this too. All right, but we we have a comfort. All right, we have a comfort in in, in, in dull times. Okay. But when you read in another article, it says apocalyptic food prices will be the disastrous for world's poor. Says bank governor. Now why everything is being pointed towards the poor? Because the the, the, the banking families and you know, particular people, they holding up the food, man. All right? That's why there's a scarcity. All right, let me get that real quick. And I'm, I'm going to read uh, And I'm going to read these articles. over here that's been given unto the people, alright, that's clearly a lack of bread, man, huh? alright, it's clearly a lack of bread, I, I just get that one, it's a lot because I'm kind of driving, so, this second, Edward 15 and 19, it says, and a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor be, 
but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. See, there's a lack of bread out here, man. All right? And bread can be uh, passed off as, as uh, you know, needs. All right? It ain't, it's not just bread you actually eat, but it's food. All right? It's, uh, you know, it's uh, money. Bread can be as money. All right? Which can get food. All right? So all these things, all right, you have to understand, you know, what it, what, you know, what it, what bread calls, not what a lack of bread calls, all right? But let me read these articles because I don't want to get off, off subject. It says, I cannot survive on the $260 a week. U.S. retail and fast food workers strike. Yeah, they're not paying nothing at these jobs, you see? It says, workers in America's fast food and retail sectors who worked on the front lines through the dangers of the C-19 pandemic are continuing a trend of strikes and protests over low wages safety concerns and sexual harassment issues on the job see it's not only that they're getting paid cheap they're being harassed on the job all right not only that you got complaining customers you got long lines all right you got people that's just irate all right you got people that's hungry you got children crying the birds chirping etc you see so all these distractions in one work environment all right then you got people who jabbed up all right they you know they, 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 you know, they catching tantrum tam tantrums, all right? They, you know, they mind unfolding within itself, all right? They're not thinking clearly, okay? They're going through withdrawals. So there's a lot of things happening on these job sites. And on top of that, the people ain't getting paid nothing, all right? And not only that, all right, the food shortage is, is causing the people, the customers to, uh, to get in heated arguments and fights and, Stabbings with the with the with the uh, <clears throat> with the uh, the employees, man. All right, because we witnessed on certain videos where I was in Domino's, not Domino's, I believe it's Pizza Hut. All right, uh, a couple weeks back, and the lady they had so many people in the uh, in the lobby. All right, and, 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 and you know, fools. Was, I mean, orders just was being backed up. All right, to so, well, the, they had a lady behind the counter. People started uh, coming from buying the people that was purchasing started coming just walking in the back all right just getting their pieces out the oven man all right and then you got the the the, the employees that's working all right they 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 cursing the you know they cursing the um the regular um you know the pedestrian or the people who buy stuff they just cursing them out but the people just ignoring them man they just going and you know just walking just walking in there taking what they want man all right, taking their food. I mean, the lady took her food. You know, she was looking through the receipts to get her food. All right, because the employees was fussing amongst one another. All right, why all the uh, all the people buying stuff was just sitting in the lobby. All right, the the employees was fussing amongst each other because they were for the lack of um workers, man. All right, and the ones that was working, they was cursing, <laughs> using foul languages, all told out unprofessional, man. All right, and you got these Jakes working these fast food, man, and, and Jake is disorderly, man. All right, they don't have no decorum. All right, uh, uh, and what a what a girl was um taking orders on a thing, she was smoking a um a e cigarette, man. All right, you know, just blowing the smoke in people's face, right? Telling them, you know, going in the back, calling the up manager, fussing at her about the lack of workers that's on the shift. All right, it's just a whole bunch of things going on. It says, the, the C pandemic has incited a resurgence of interest and support for the U.S. labor movement and low-wage workers for board the, the brunt of, uh, of C-19 risk. The unrest also comes as corporations have often reported record profits and showered executive with pay increases stock buybacks and bonuses while workers receive minimal pay increases workers at billion dollar corporations from general dollar to mcdonald's still make an average less than 15 an hour while often being forced to work in unsafe grueling conditions yeah and then this meat is being expired all right because you know they got the shortage all right on a, you know on the meat supply all right so they selling you know spoiled meat Right? 
price is being hyped up every day. You come one day and, you know, probably get what, but I don't know how much a Big Mac meal or whatever it may cost. Let's say $8, $9. Hey, you might come tomorrow. It might be $11 or $12, man. All right? Everything is just on the what? On the incline, man. Okay? And people tolerance is on a decline, man. Okay? It says on May on sec on May 2nd, Dollar General workers at a store in Marion, North Carolina walked off the job over low wages. And you're getting a lot of that, man. All right? That's why they do have jobs available. Nobody want to take them because you can't put up what comes with the position, man. Not only that, the pay ain't, ain't uh, can't suffice it. All right? Because you ain't getting paid nothing. On top of that, you got to deal with people's attitudes. On top of that, you're risking your life, man. All right? So everything is just, you know, everything is taking a, a toll on everybody, man. It says, Ashley Sierra has worked at Dollar General for two years and make just $11 an hour. Golly, man, how you, how you live off that? While only receiving part-time hours. A mother of three, she relies on family members to barely make ends meet. My weekly paycheck is no more than 200, 260 at the max. And our people settle for that, man. You know? Not as if they can probably get nothing else, but at the end of the day, our people got to work it or, or, or end up getting nothing, man. You see? So it's really no way out, man. You know, the Lord is cornering Jake off, man. You know, chiefly. It says it needs to get up to to at least 15 an hour. And even when you do 15 an hour, all right, that's four more dollars. That's only $20 per paycheck. So it's going to be 80 more dollars. So her weekly check going to go from 260 to about 340. All right, depending on what taxes she got, it might just go from 260 to about 290, man, once they take the taxes out. All right, so you're not going nowhere. Jake, look at when he get a raise as if like, oh, my check is going to be a great difference on my check. No, man. All right, a dollar raise, your check is only going to be like $20 more or $40 for 40 hours. You're only making an extra dollar, All right? So it's only $40 more, you know? It says, Dollar General reported a profit of $32 billion and their CEO was paid over $16.4 million in 2021. 986 times the median pay of the company's worker. And yeah, once you do the mathematical, all right, uh, uh, contrast on what the workers make, let's just say family dollar got a total, that family dollar got a total of 20 people working now. He raked in, let's just say it's 20. He raked in, all right, the CEO raked in 3.2 billion. Their CEO was paid over C. All right, let's say you worked in 16.4 million. Now, if you just give each one of your uh, members a thousand dollars out the 16.4 million, let's just say a thousand dollars a week, all right, and then do the math, he's still collecting millions, man. That number gonna just go down a little bit. So it's not designed for us to make it working at these jobs, man. All right, we gonna die working at the jobs. You never gonna get by. Because only people profiting is the people that owns the store. All right? They just keep you with a check from week to week to keep you shackled in. Knowing that you do need the pennies that they giving you, man. All right? And the Lord have put you in that downtrodden position, man. To be stuck. All right? To be low and then get what? Pretty much um, stomped down as the Maya in the street. All right? Once things really hit the fan. It says... Sierra said the store was often understaffed and overstocked with items that block owls and that she feared for her safety over potential robbers and thefts when she and just one other co-worker are working in the entire store. And you get a lot of robbers out on dollar on um, generals, man, and family dollars, all right, because there's no security. Okay, and if it is security, it's women, all right, on top of that, you got them putting pictures of people who robbed the place, like uh, they looking for them or whatnot, you know. But it ain't even worth it, man. They got two, three people running the entire store, full, full, full. All right? Running the entire store, all right, when it's all fucking females, man. All right? 
It's all set up for failure. It's just to get whatever they could get. Because they got insurance on all the items and everything that gets stolen. They not going to look for nobody. They don't care if they get robbed. All right? They got insurance on the money, man. Anything you take from a store owner, okay, they're going to uh, comp comp compensate them um, handsomely, man. Because they're going to, uh, what they're going to do. All right, they're going to alter the, the if, if you, if a uh, $1,000 was stolen, they're going to say $10,000 was stolen. And the insurance people are going to pay them out the money, man. So really take it from them, help them. Take it from those people, actually help those people, man. All right, take it from the rich, it helps them. Because these, these banks going to what? They're going to uh, ultimately bank their money up and by giving them more money, man. They could, they're going to exaggerate the amount that was taken, man. All right, and the insurance going to cover it. Okay, you see? So they don't lose. That's why when you take something, they don't come look for you. They're not like Jake. You take something from Jake. Jake come looking for you with the guns. Hey, they're going to let you get away. All right, and then, then just go claim it at the bank and just get more than what you took. That's it. It says, Dollar General. I know I've been rambling, but just, just you know, just the article alone, man, says it all. Dollar General did not comment on the company's low wages in regards to the walkout, a spokesperson said in an email. We understand a small number of employees chose to express their personal opinions about the company earlier this week by walking off the job. We respect our employees' right to engage in protected activities, and, and as is our practice, we plan to listen and listen to their feedback. Workers at McDonald's in Los Angeles began strike on Monday in response to plumbing issues at the restaurant that recently worsened emitting odors that have made workers sick. Now you got all that, you know, then you don't got, you you, you got E. coli and all that around the food. You know, it's just, it's just, these workplaces are unhabitable, all right? They're, you know, technically they're uneatable, they're not sanitized, all right? It's just a lot going on. You work in the, you walk in the average fast food place, man, the floor's all dirty and muddy. People walking around, shit getting dropped, getting half cooked. All right, it's just ridiculous, man. All right? Hey, if we, hey, you I can can, man. Hey, stop eating that fucking fast food shit, man. Goes to myself first. All right? You no, know, I, I eat it less and less or whatever or whatnot. But like you say, you know, Jake get, you know, I'm Jake, I, you know. I get a little chicken plate, you know. But, but come on, man. You know, well, come on, you know, that's why I say it goes to myself first, all right? And these fucking um, more bites is no better, these Arabs is no better, man. Okay, it says it gives me headaches, stomach aches, and nausea. It's been happening to my co workers, also says Jasmine Elfaro, one of the striking workers at the McDonald's location. It has become a horrible smell all over the kitchen and store and we've noted their water also leaking with disgusting debris now you got water leaks all right you got mold you got uh bombs and shit coming you know sit on chairs and go to sleep and take showers and shit in the bathroom ain't nobody cleaning the bathroom for the lack of workers not even the lack of workers but people is making so much of a mess in the bathroom till it is forbidden to go in there man all right? And I know about these things. I like to say, I don't really been up in a, in, a, in, a, in a fast food places like that, really going to the bathrooms as much. But this was probably like this, you know, years ago, man. These things just happened. So I can only imagine it being, what, 10 times worse now. It says, she explained for the past year a foul odor that had been em emanating from pipes near the drive through windows, but severely worsened over the past week throughout the entire restaurant. Despite the orders, workers were still expected to conduct business as usual. El Faro said she had missed days of work due to getting sick from the order and had not been compensated for that time missed from work. El Faro said the strike will continue until the pro problem is fixed. And the issue is an example of why fast food workers in California need local proposed laws AB257 to pass which would establish a statewide fast food council with worker representation to set wage and other industry standards, including safety protections. 
People don't have a peace of mind in the workplace. This is the only way we were going to have a voice that represents us. So we can be listened to and not be ignored. We should have to we shouldn't have to risk our help making a living. El Faro El Faro said. A spokesperson for McDonald's did not comment on a strike but claimed in the email this restaurant underwent recent health inspections and was found to be a good stand. And you know, the politics, you know, it's all about politics, the line. All right, when the people do cut OSHA and different people come, they all connected. So they're gonna just pass the stove. At the end of the day, these fast food restaurants killing you, so it's gonna pass anyways. Okay, that you know, you got the FDA. All right, these people just, you know, they're just passing everything. All right, nothing is consumable at this point, man. Everything killing you, man. They're killing you with every single thing. Everything is killing us. It says we have already begun repairing a plumbing issue that recently arose at the restaurant and expected it to be resolved shortly. At a jack-in-the-box location in Sacramento, California, workers went on strike for three days at the end of April 2022 over faulty equipment and said the concern and short staffing. Workers at a Wendy's in Wherryville, North Carolina, went on strike 20, April 23rd through May 1st over sexual harassment and abuse from the restaurant's general manager toward employees that upper management had not had not addressed. Charity Charity Bradley, a Wendy's manager at the restaurant, claimed she was retailed against for reporting comp complaints about the general management to corporate as she was taken off the schedule and locked out of the crew app used to communicate with co-workers. Bradley was reinstated by the end of the strike and returned to work on May 2nd. But why these people keep going back knowing this, this, this you know, they, you know, people are crazy, man. When we reported it to upper management, they pretty much blew it off. They really didn't do anything. We called the corporate hotline several times and never received any response, said Bradley. She added, when this could be a good place to work, they need to get it together and start taking care of their people and start doing what's right, not sweeping it under the rug. All right, so that's pretty much it, man. All right, you know, nonetheless, you know, and the Lord just making everything hard. All right, you know, you're gonna eat your bread that filed over here. All right, the money you're gonna, the, you're gonna make bags with holes. Okay, and then the complaints just gonna keep on going on top of each other, man. As it says in that guy, one in six you shall, you know, sow, all right, but reap little. All right, you know, you gonna are you gonna make a make a bag with holes in it, man? You know, let me get this on. Um, apocalyptic food prices will be disastrous for world poor, says bank bank governor. Right, let me see. So if it's on. See where is that? I think it's on the business. Right. You know, so it's definitely, you know, it's it's definitely have taken have taken this this toll, man. Because I I just see that article. I. You know, I'll probably pull that out just to kind of um, pick, uh, lamb back this one, you know, but that's the point. Can't, own, can't survive on $260 a week, man. Retail strike. Fast food worker strike, man. You know? So, that pretty much was it. I know I kind of, you know, I, you know, I, the, 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 the article was pretty long and I just wanted to cover all those points. So, I'll be right to Zawa's edifying, man, until the next time I see Shalom.